Hey, Laburn 98 here with another Black Ops commentary. This is Vela, and this time we're doing a free-for-all. Uh, it's actually pretty rare to see me do free-for-alls, and the biggest reason why that is is I'm more of a team-oriented player. And I think the biggest reason why I am that type of... why I prefer that type of experience uh, was dating all the way back to the GoldenEye on the N64. And at the time, you know, it was split-screen, so... Uh, you never, you know, I never really got to experience that big team battle stuff. So then when I got my PC, and I started to get into PC gaming, the first game I bought, the first biggest game I bought other than the NHL series, was Medal of Honor Allied Assault. And then when I went online with that, now granted I had dial-up, so I mean it wasn't the most pleasant experience, but I was able still to play the game. And to, But I, th I remember what I found so cool about that was you would go online and see these these servers of 20 people running around you know and, and working as a team and, and stuff like that and holding uh you know guarding p their flanks and and treating it almost like a a real war you know using real real type strategies uh, i thought that was always pretty cool and then obviously when battlefield series came out and the first game which was battlefield 1942 that brought that team base combat or whatever you, or gameplay to a whole new level with 64 player matches uh, but like I said I never really got to experience it at that time because I was on dial up and even with Battlefield while I could play on dial up I know it's pretty shocking but uh, I would actually have to stick to 24 player servers but that's when I kind of started getting into Call of Duty and uh, because it was a lower player player count and stuff like that but uh, but that's yeah, that's basically why I kind of got into the whole team experience, and that's generally why I steered more towards team deathmatch and and domination, ground war, and and to a lesser extent, search and destroy, is because I like that team, that team atmosphere, that team experience. Now you're seeing here, uh, I always put the motion sensor down, and I take I take a step back to see, kind of, to kind of gauge where what's happening around me now I'm not a camper I don't like camping although I will I will hold the area for a brief period sometimes I mean I'm not gonna say I don't outright camp because anybody says that they're a liar either that or you like getting killed a lot I mean it's one of the two uh, but I, I generally like to do the running gun and uh, stuff like that but occasionally I do camp a little bit you know just to uh, sound whore and stuff like that because I do use uh, headphones uh, I actually have, someone asked me this, I actually have two headphones, or sets of headphones. I have the Turtle Beaches, which I've, I mentioned before, uh, which are stereo headphones. And then I also have the Triton AX360s, uh, which are surround sound headphones. Of the two Tritons, which are more expensive, although I don't think they make those that particular model anymore, it's more expensive. It's $130, I think. Uh, great sounding terrible build quality they break easily and actually on my second pair uh, I bought my second pair from Buyakity 5 who had who uh, didn't like the feel of them I guess they're, he has a smaller head and didn't really fit too well for him so I bought them off of him for 50 bucks so they're those great again great qual uh, great sound quality terrible build quality and then you have the Tritons which are decent quality for the money I mean they're only $60 and build quality are actually pretty good. I haven't had a problem with them. I use them. I use them pretty much every day. And uh, but they're stereo. And and uh, but for the most part, I mean, it's perfect. Anybody who wants to actually, and here's a tip for you guys. Anybody who actually wants to improve their game, get yourself a headset. No matter what kind of headset it really is, just get yourself a headset. It, it, it makes a great deal of difference. And I know people say, well, you know, it doesn't really. But trust me. I remember before I used to play with the, especially on the PC, I used to play with my surround speakers and stuff like that. And I did good, I did good, you know. But putting on headphones, it just makes you so aware of your surroundings. You can hear all the footsteps of all the soldiers and stuff like that. And a lot of times you can actually surprise guys. I can't tell you how many times, I don't think I do it in this video, but I can't tell you how many times where I've actually was walking on and I use uh, ninja by the way and here I don't know why that didn't go off but anyway but I use ninja so there's times where I'm running and some guy thinks he's being a, a smart ass 
and comes up behind me and I can hear him just like trotting along with his big heavy boots and then I turn around and knife him <laughs> you know and uh, but I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't have a headphones either that or you, you really crank up the your surround sound or something like that but I can't really do that where I live so uh, so headphones are, are, are a good way to, to do that I see here I get the chopper gunner. I usually speed them up, although I get quite a few kills here. I actually forgot to put the kill feed on. Normally, when I speed them up like this, I by the way, I do it in uh, theater mode to speed it up like that. And I forgot to put the kill feed on. But it speeds it up. So, yeah, that was basically it for, the, for my headphones. And someone was asking me about that, so I have two. I generally use my Turtle Beaches. It's the one that has the mic and the one I'm using right now. Uh, but when I want to play solo, uh, which usually means the PS3, because I don't have my mic uh, right now set for the PS3. That's when I use the Tritons. Although I do plan to get a clip-on mic to go with that, as well as a USB sound card. So I can connect uh, either my, my, my Turtle Beaches, if I want to use that mic, or the clip-on mic. So I don't have to... Uh, uh, wear like the Bluetooth the PS3 mic along with my headphones because it'd be so un uncom uncomfortable. Uh, anyway, another thing uh, I had someone ask someone asked me about was a request, and it was for uh, NHL videos. I'm actually surprised people are still asking me for requests for videos because you know I figure with Christmas coming around that pretty much anybody who was interested in the game would already have the game. Uh, but I do like doing requests for people. You know, when I want to request, I like to have someone do it for me. So uh, I will definitely do some more NHL videos. Although, to be honest with you, uh, next year I'm planning to get NHL for the PS3 instead of the Xbox 360. And the biggest reason so is so I can play online. Because playing against someone else, it would be more awesome to do that than play against the computer like I do right now. And yes... I can buy, I can get Xbox Live Gold, you know, uh, but it's it's the I don't really play it all that much. So I mean, I'd be getting it for NHL, and to me, it's not really worth it. So next year, I do plan to get it for the PS3. But again, I'm gonna do those uh, requests for you guys. I had uh, a few requests for a few different matchups and stuff. So look forward to that. I also plan to do some uh, Dead Nation. Uh, it was a game I talked about in the previous. In the, the previous commentary where I said at what games I bought and stuff like that. And it's an awesome game. I want more people to buy it. So I definitely want to show you that too. Right, anyway, so the final score is 30 and 1. So not a bad free-for-all. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, until next time, this is LeBurn98 signing off. And again, like I said, uh, look forward to more NHL videos for those who like those type of videos. And anyway, until next time, take care, guys. See you.